The Korean duel now. Focus versus Chimiko. I'm really looking forward to this because Chimiko is killer in this matchup. And Focus recently in this matchup with his Farseer play has also been extremely strong. So this is a promising round. Wait, what round are we? Round six game? Yes, round six game between the two Koreans. Let's head in. Our map is Twisted Meadows. Top right, Chimiko. Bottom right, Focus. Oh, that is never what you want to see when you're the human player. Normally, on this map, it's gonna be uh, the lab creep first with Militia. And that is usually mostly safe. But let's see, what's the hero here first? I'm expecting a Farseer. And it is the Farseer. Focus seems to be almost exclusively playing this hero against uh, human nowadays. Even on maps like Last Refuge, I saw him playing Farseer. Whereas in the past, um, Farseer from many orcs seemed to be more map dependent. Now it seems like Focus chooses him all the time against human. And he's going to be very satisfied with his scout here. Is Chimiko going to see the scout? He should. Peon vision range isn't that great, so the peon will reveal himself. Is that gonna change something for Chimiko? He obviously sees. With this peon scout also, um, focus slows down his tech a little. Oh wow, it's uh, peon scout plus second burrow. So the tech is actually gonna be quite a bit later, but it's gonna be plenty of grunts out early. And the peon is staying around. He doesn't want the footy to pull off uh, the rock golem pull. And the AM, okay. Chimiko says, no, we're not doing this. And he's creeping the green camp instead. That will be a safe camp. That will be safe experience. But you need level 2 with the AM pretty quickly. Otherwise, he feels awful. Ideally, you want level 3 by the time you reach tier 2. But with this beginning into the game, this seems to be utterly impossible. Tech is coming now for focus. Early arcane tower, by the way. Chimiko not too greedy, not waiting for tier 2 to start to then go for the arcane. So it's all about trading early on. This is the advantage for orc. Orc can afford to trade, orc can afford to lose HP, orc can easily heal up again with heal selves. Human. Not so much. Forces are under attack. So the AM needs to pay attention. And needs to make sure he's not copying too much damage here. Otherwise, the mid game is going to be scary for him. Shop is coming now. More grunts on the way. And this is going to be a very light creep game. As it oftentimes is the case on Twisted Meadows. Kind of seems counterintuitive. The map is so big. There's so many creep camps. But oftentimes an early game will be dominated by harassment and by no creeping at all. And that is because the creep cams are so hard to take. The green ones are easy, but the green ones are almost useless. And all the other ones are really hard. So this is why early on, oftentimes here we see attack. this slow of a level progress. Three grunts now though already. And Focus is trying to do his own rock golem pull. I love this. The wolves are chasing the AM, so he always knows where he is. This accomplishes two things. First of all, Focus knows he's not going to be harassed here. And second of all, Focus knows he's not losing an opportunity to be aggressive because he knows the AM isn't doing anything anyways. This is so good. Oh, this is so beautiful. This early game for Focus is so outstanding. This is a big lead for Focus. Not much has happened so far this game, but this is a big lead. AM actually does come in in time here to be a little aggressive, but it's a level 1 AM with just a couple of footies which are over here. This is not scary. Stealing some last hits is the best thing that Chimiko can hope for. That's the far seer though, we'll pick up most of this camp. That will be his level 2. And with that, train lightning. Tier 2 about to finish. Are under attack. Oh yeah, the overlay was... Uh... Swapped. Sorry, guys. So there we go. Farseer level 2. Seems like it's footy zapping time. How much is it again? 85 damage? 
I forgot. I think it's like 85 or something. Oh, nice block against the Grunt. Chimiko with his signature move. And it's... F Dude, if he doesn't get the Grunt, he's still level 1 only. How ridiculous is this? This was actually a big deal, this Grunt kill. And look at the Wolves. The Wolves are just chasing the AM. I love this as well. This is brilliant. The AM can never stand still and just fire away as he usually does because he's, because he's getting pressured by these wolves all the time. Brilliant. Something that I first saw 1 to 0 doing in his uh, pushes against the expansion. Skeletons always on the AM and the rest of the army dealing with other things. Focus now doing it with the wolves. But, quite a few of these units are very hurt, so Chimiko, he's gonna find more kills. Wow, he's gonna get the second grunt. Dude, Chimiko is finding a way back into this game. This, both these grunt kills were really unrealistic. But with an outstanding block in the middle, and here, a block in the base, he gets these two grunt kills. If he doesn't get these two grunt kills, the game isn't over, but it's looking very, very bad. And again, it's rifles. Why? Why are humans continuing to play rifles? Against Fossier TC. Isn't mass casters just way better? And the Alchemist second, by the way, of course, uh, which I neglected to mention so far. Trying to be very nice against the heal spray, but it certainly doesn't have the same aggressive potential as an MK has with Clap. Creepjack coming in again and focus. My god, focus. He's looking so insane this game. These two grunt kills, again, are keeping Chimiko in this game. But it's not easy. I'm gonna have to ask some, like, good human players, like, why is everyone going right? I don't get it. Chad is suggesting Windriders, but just one tower in the main keeps you safe against Windriders, maybe two. And Windriders really aren't the best fighters. If they get slowed or shackled, they're kind of trash. Alright, Shaniko pushing here very boldly without a TP, with only level 2 2 heroes. Focus, what's it looking like for him? 2-2 two, two as well. 40 supply for the orc. 46 actually for Chimiko. Again, those two grunt kills. Those two grunt kills. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, interception though. One rifle kill for free. Always gonna back up. Did you forget about the burrow? I oh, know. Boro just finished for focus. Now he can over can go over 40. Koto Beast coming. Not really a tower push. We don't have a lumber mill. We don't have militia. There's just I uh, know oh, we do. Okay, militia are here. But this Boro is already putting in some work. Towers are coming, but it's gonna be a while, and again, it's only gonna be Arcanes. We haven't seen a single stomp so far, but the ideal target is the rifle in the back, of course. Oh, the repair was too late! And it's a big deal, the TC is actually taking a lot of damage. Focus has to go for a new shop very quickly. The Spirit Link was also late, so this TC took way more damage than he was supposed to. And he can't even connect! Good block! Excellent block with these peasants. So the TC can't reach the rifles in the back. And if there was a, uh, an MK now, this would be scary for the TC. But with no Stormbolt being here, it's not that scary. And Snare's coming in. And another Stomp. Devour. One rifle dead. Right clicks, the next rifle dead. Oh, nice surround with the Peasant. That was pretty cool. Heal scroll keeps that Kodo alive for a little bit longer. The Wolves are coming in. Quick Dispels. Nicely done. But the Priest Mana is dropping lower. Stomp coming in and the AM dies during the stun before you can use the invul thanks to the chain lightning. And I think the alchemist is just gonna follow as the raiders are chasing. They're pretty fast here with the aura. Early and snare. Yeah, this is just pick off time now. And focus with this farseer against human continues to look really strong. GG. 
No real chance there anymore for Chimiko. The next win for